Blizzard! Hey guys, it's Madam Wario. Welcome back to more Let's Play Super Mario Galaxy. We are right where we left off, and there's like a blizzard going on outside right now. Like, it's snowing for like the 10,000th time in a week. It like won't stop snowing here. Like, I don't know what's happening. It's just like we're gonna be buried by the end of this year. Next Ice Age. Uh, anyway, ne next time... Next time. Last time. <laughs> this is the next time, so welcome to the present. We are going to be going to Good Egg Galaxy this time. Last time we went to Honey Hive Galaxy, which is where we will return after we collect this third star from Good Egg. So let's go ahead and take this challenge on. And I don't know, I don't remember what this star is. It's, it's so hard to remember some of the earlier stars in the game for me. Can't. Wait, King Caliente's battle fleet. Oh my god, that reminds me. Just because it sounded Spanish to me. My Spanish class got canceled. I was so excited. I've, to I've talked about this before. I'm like the worst Spanish speaker in the world. Like, I commend anyone who speaks Spanish because I'm just like terrible at it. But, um, yeah, I got canceled when the snow started coming. So, like, I didn't have to go to class. I was so like so excited i was like oh my god thank god i get to record more mario galaxy instead of going to speak spanish which i suck at so it'd be different if i was good at it but i just like really struggle with it like it's really hard for me um because i have trouble understanding it um uh, the language i worked on learning in high school was japanese so it's like i don't have anything even remotely similar like going on like i'm used to I guess I'm used to learning a language in a different way, just because, like, you know, when things look so close to English, it's, like, really hard for me, because I'm, um, kind of on the brink of dyslexic anyway, so I'm kind of like, uh, I, I don't know, so, um, you know, learning an entirely new alphabet that looks nothing like English letters was, like, really helpful for me, like, it made things really easy, and we got 50 star bits, so we got a 1-up, as you just saw. I'm kind of just star bit collecting, because I know some stuff that's coming up. Um, I'll do star bit collecting more in-depth later off-screen, but I just kind of want to show it off for now, since we're still in the early stages of the game, I mean, um, a lot of things are going to repeat as of right now, so, anyway, I'm going to get rid of these guys. I kind of wish these were snippets, um, what the F is this? Gone for a long time, need to get in, use the pipe on the other side. Okay, well, that's cool. But anyway, um, I kind of wish those were like old school sniffets rather than like new school sniffs. I don't think those enemies are called sniffets actually, but they just have the same concept and I'm like, yo, we could have totally used some old school action here. Um, okay. Here we go. There's the pipe that leads to the top of the house. I know, I missed some. Well, I sort of missed some. I went and got him. Some star bits. Oh, no! Wait a minute. This is a stupid thing I've done before. Ah. Uh, okay. Do I need to do this again? I don't need to do this again. Like, we've done this before. That's why I said things are going to start repeating. I guess while they are repeating though, I'll take this time to talk about some stuff I've been kind of wanting to talk about. Oh no, this is how to get up to the house. Okay, never mind. We just get like a one-up by doing this as well. So, um, anyway, I really want to get like a, an actual headset. What I have right now is I have a, can I just jump up here? Why can I not just jump up there? Seriously. I use a snowball mic and it's great, especially for co- or co-op because it captures everyone's voice. But I don't have like a super loud voice particularly anyway, so like, I don't know, I just miss how, um, like, how close your voice is to the mic when you have a headset and I'm like debating whether or not to get one now. Um, oh my god, we freed a toad! Woo! You saved me! Thanks, Mario! In return, I love how he's just doing, like, this arabesque turn over and over again. In return, let me tell you a secret about this place. Apparently, these spiky things just hate coconuts. Shake the Wiimote to spin and smack them with coconuts. That's actually, like, really funny. I totally forgot about that. Um, as a gimmick. Well, actually, you know, we have, like, the bounce-back coconuts before. 
but I like this concept better of the fact that the coconuts can't like bounce back and hit you in the face. So, anyway, um, so yeah, I've been like checking in to getting a headset instead of um, just using the snowball mic, just because it picks up a lot of extra stuff sometimes, like it'll pick up audio in the background. My biggest beef with headsets is that I really just hate um, wearing like big headphones because I, I don't know, I don't like big headphones or little headphones for two different reasons. I don't like big ones because they um, make my head hot and then I'll like sweat and get really annoyed like super fast. And the little headphones, they'll like hurt the inside of your ears after a while. Oh, I thought there would be more than a coin in there. Sorry, that was kind of a time waster. Anyway, um, so that's something I've been thinking about. So I don't know, my what I'm asking basically is um, anybody in the audience um, who's obviously, you know, watching this now, um, do you like how my voice sounds? Um, would you like my voice to be louder? I don't know, I just want to get some feedback and see what you guys think. And if you think everything's like perfectly fine, I won't even like worry about it so much, but I'm just worried that my voice could be louder. I don't know. So I wanted to bring that up and I meant to last time, but I just didn't have time. Um, something else I wanted to bring up in the last video that I didn't do. Oh my God, why, why is Goomba like killing me? Seriously. Is for real? Get out of here. Okay, so anyway, something I wanted to, um, no, don't slam your head into me. Like, what are you doing? Okay, yeah, is the schedule for this. This, um, let's play is going to be... Are you serious? Okay, good. This let's play is going to be updated if you can't tell already, which by this point you should probably kind of be able to tell since we're in the second week now. Um... Oh my god, I love this! This reminds me so much of Rainbow Road! And I love that Mario Kart 7 kind of incorporated this idea. Um, anyway... Um, the schedule for this Let's Play is... Uh, Monday, Wednesday, Friday. So, it's like... Th that's kind of our idea for... Or my idea for updating this. So it'll be three days a week. Um, but I just want to kind of clarify that for those who maybe hadn't been paying attention or hadn't been watching, like, on release days. Anyway, you transformed into Rainbow Mario, you're invincible! Not just, like, Starman Mario. Rainbow Mario. Can I just point out that that is awesome? I love that these Goombas are just, like, sitting ducks in here, like... Kind of like, whoa. Why can I not go in here? Here we go. Dun, 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 dun. Okay. I love that that's Rainbow Mario. What if that just plummeted you into the black hole? I'm pretty sure the world would be pissed off, but... True that. Something I should point out too, if you've noticed, when I jump on Goomba's heads, I get a coin from them. When I spin them, they turn into star bits. So if I spin this guy... Uh... Okay, that was a bad idea, but I did it anyway. Uh, spin him and then hit him, he'll turn into star bit. So if you are really trying to star bit collect, um, that would be a good way to do it. Make sure you're spinning your enemies out instead of jumping on their heads, because if you jump on their heads, they're going to turn into coins. So it's kind of just a little bit of a strategic tip for if you're low on energy, you want to jump. If you are low on star bits, you don't want to do that. Um, okay. <laughs> If you're low on star bits, you want to spin. So, just keep that in mind. I don't know why I'm getting hit so much. I'm just, like, way too excited right now, I guess. Out my way. Get out my face, yo. I'm, like, not a good gangster, but that's okay. It's not really a goal of mine in life, so. Okay, that kind of looks like you. Oh, I remember this. This is so, like... Oh my god, I did this so long ago. This is so weird to think about. Okay, so we gotta unlock this toad and he'll give us info. Your attacks won't reach those mean looking aliens. But here's a great idea. What if you tried to bounce something back at them? Which, wow, that wasn't like super obvious or anything. You'll notice that they're throwing coconuts in um, addition 
to just throwing the weirdest things in the entire world. Oh yeah, I didn't point that out either. If you duck and then jump, it's just like in Super Mario Bros. 2, you'll jump higher. You'll do a high jump versus just a regular old Mario jump. Um, so anyway, you want to um, get them to throw coconuts at you and then just fling them back like that. Um, it, I like to stand directly in front of the enemy to do this. Um, just because you get a better aim, unless it hits the freaking wall like that. Boom! So, okay, sweet. Now we get this sweet bridge, don't fall into the black hole. And... what's over here? Yeah, party! Okay, that is a health... Um, shroom. Well, I don't know if it's called a health shroom or a super shroom or what it's called. I just refer to it as a health shroom because... It increases your health by three. So if you had three health before, you'll then have six. I don't think you can ever get more than six. Um, I don't even think there are any levels set up to do so. If there are, I can't remember them clearly. Um, but anyway, this is very, very helpful for boss battles, particularly later. I mean, this isn't like, this is such an early stage in the game. It's like an op to your soul. But, um, you know, and there are just other regular old levels, not boss battles, that, like, really suck sometimes. Like, they're so... they're like puzzles. There's so much that could go wrong, you end up dying a lot. Be careful, there's big danger up ahead! If things get really bad, shoot a star bit at one of those lights on the ground! Then a coin will pop out. Grab it to replenish some of your life. Okay, so these little lights on the ground right here, that's what we want to grab if we're running low on life. Um, obviously we're gonna flip this over and get our first boss. I guess this is like the first like real boss, I don't know, like versus mini boss like we saw last time. And he's gonna be really screwed and shoot coconuts at us. This game has an obsession with coconuts. It's like coconut conk all over again. Alright, so this is kind of like Birdo. I kind of wish this was like a Birdo, um, octopus thing. Just because that would be like so awesome. Just because this is like really a lot of reference. You know, I said that earlier. I was like, they should ref. I love that they're referencing Mario 2. Well, they really do reference Mario 2 in this game a lot as well. Um, just because this is exactly like the Red Birdo battle in Super Mario Bros. 2 from NES in the way that, like, he shoots fire, and then he shoots, not an egg, but a coconut in this case. Don't throw it back at me. I'm gonna hit your face. Boom! I love that he has a mustache. I didn't even notice that until he fell over. I'm glad that Power Stars are smart enough to get out of the lava so that I can actually grab onto it. However, they're not smart enough to avoid those stupid, stretchy blue things that I can't control ever. <laughs> oh man. Dem power stars, guys. Love it. Okay, so we got another star. We're up to five. And that means we have beaten our first galaxy as a whole. And we've discovered a new galaxy! So, yay! I told you there'd be some sort of distraction. We're gonna go ahead and save really quickly. And we're going to take a look at our new galaxy. So, um, new galaxy is this question block right here. It is the loop-de-loop -loop galaxy. Otherwise, the loop-de-death galaxy. Because this is just like that slide in like Super Mario 64. Which is literally the only part of Super Mario 64 I've played, unfortunately. Um, but yeah, it's just like a big slide. That, you know what? We can actually go ahead and do this because this is like. Um, I don't want to just talk about it. I want to show it off. I would go back to Honey Hive, but I think that's going to be a longer mission anyway and you'll probably run out of time. Let's just hope I don't die a bunch. Surfing 101! Yes. Is this what I'm thinking it is? Um. Yeah, this like builds up later in a later level that's more difficult. Is this like. Okay, maybe this isn't what I'm thinking it is, because I thought this was the one where you could, like, legitimately, like, slide off the course and just fail at life, which maybe you can, but I feel like there's a course later that's way tougher. Are you a surfer, too? No way! 
Yes, we're gonna just say we are. I wish I was a surfer. Oh my god, if I lived next to an ocean, I would be a surfaholic, seriously. Oh, but this is your first time ray surfing, right? Well, then let me show you the ropes. Okay, so this is just a little explanation for this. Now let me explain. Point your Wiimote at the screen, which we are doing. Wow, we, we're so good, guys. Yeah, yeah, that's the basic position. I did so much. Uh, to turn left and right, you simply twist the uh, Wiimote. Okay, why am I on Oh, I was only supposed to twist left. Okay, so this is all, like, motion control. This is where um, Mario Galaxy also hit at home when they tried to introduce more than just one new innovative idea to their gaming style. So, um, this is just like a perfect example of that. And I absolutely love this mechanic, actually. So anyway, can we like, oh, I gotta hold down, you gotta hold down A too. I was like, why isn't he going? Oh, look at how rainbow it is! I love it! Oh, so good! Oh my god, why was not getting coins? Okay, maybe you can fall off in this. Or that. No, what do I have to do? Yes, you can! Oh my god, this is what I was thinking of. Guys, this makes me nervous. So, if your Wii remote battery's dying, don't do this. I'm pretty sure that happened to me. Why do I have a phobia of that? I have like a weird fear of that now. Because I'm pretty sure that happened. And it was like... It, like my, it wasn't like dead to the point where it was going off, it was just dying to the point where the uh, motion controls weren't responding correctly. So I was like, why do I suck at this? And then like shortly after that, my Wii Remote died. And I was like, what must have happened? Ah! Ah! <laughs> Guys, I just killed two people. I told you, it's like a legit fear now. I'm like gripping my nunchuck and I don't even need to be holding on to it. Okay. Luckily, there is a power star at the end of this. Good luck! Screw you! You just saw us die! So, there's a, um, there's a one-up mushroom. Not too deep. Right there. Not too deep in the floor, so I would just recommend trying to grab it every single time. If I didn't last time, I failed. And I guess you can, like, go with the A button, but I don't know that that really helps all that much. Um, this is very much like, um, Mario Kart Wii, though, and the mechanics, except it's vertical rather than horizontal. I just did the exact same thing. I, like, suck at that turn. Why am I so bad? Guys, this is, like, the fifth star, and I'm already this bad. Like, what is that? I promise I'm not this bad at this game. I'm just really bad at these weird racing things, and I always have it. I used to fall off that stupid hallway slide all the time. Not like the easy one, but the difficult one. I would be like, Ooh, oh wow, I'm so good, yay! I would get so frustrated. I'd be real kid playing um, Mario 64 at my cousin's house. And now I'm playing this game. And I still suck at these slide things. It's weird, because I'm really good at Mario I'm like a beast at Mario Kart. I don't really understand why I can't be good at both. Apparently I just can't. Okay, good. I got past that turn. Why am I jumping? Oh my god, this is so scary! Awesome, but it's terrifying. Seriously, my hand is like sweating. Like, I'm so nervous. I'm like going super slow. Yay! Oh. Oh boy. Thank God. 108 to 8. That's kind of ironic. You deserve a gold medal, but all I have is a sweet star I pulled out of my butt. I wonder if penguins still have buttholes in this thing. I mean, they did in Bobsled Run. All right, we're gonna go up. Wow. What if I? What if you like jumped off? That'd be so stupid. I wonder how many people have done that. Watch, a bunch of you are gonna comment and be like, that was me. <laughs> okay, I o it only took me three tries. I'm proud of myself. Because I know I suck at those. For whatever reason. Alright, Surfing 101. 
Got our six star and a whole nine coins. We're gonna save and that's gonna be it for this episode. So thanks again for watching guys. There's like four inches of snow outside now. <laughs> it's blizzarding and we were on the beach, so it's all good. But thanks for watching. This has been Madame Oreo. Peace out, pimps.